Calvin Jones, I'm afraid, has had much, much better days than this. Uh, he's lost 12 of his four, like 14 losses have come by way of knockout. If you're reaching out American base, but from at this time, ladies Nigeria. and gentlemen, we present one of our featured attractions of the evening: 10 rounds of boxing, of course, with the big boys in action, heavyweights. Our referee in charge of this bout, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions. Robert Bird. Introducing to you first on my left, riding out of the blue corner, entering the ring wearing red trunks with white trim, joining us from Cincinnati, Ohio. He weighed in at 280 pounds. His record includes 20 wins, 14 losses, with 12 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Introducing Calvin Concrete Jones. <laughs> Concrete because he cracks. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this 10 round co featured attraction, wearing black trunks with multicolored trim, originally from Nigeria, now fighting out of his home of Dallas, Texas. He weighed in at 236 pounds. His undefeated record stands at 13 wins, no losses, 11 of his wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome the fighter known as. Ike, the President Ibiabuchi. There you go then, round one, Calvin Jones. Yes, he's won 12 by knockout, he's also lost 12 by knockout. And uh, I'm afraid he doesn't even get in the top 300 with the Independent World Boxing rankings. Whereas Ike Ibiabuchi features at number 66. Unbeaten in 13, 11 knockouts to his credit. Not a name that you could ever imagine you'd ever seen anywhere else before on his record plenty of names though on the record of calvin jones lennox lewis andrew galotta david tua henry akiwanda shannon briggs they've all beaten him and more worryingly more recently he was stopped in seven rounds by rocky papelli now that does worry me what is ibibuchi gonna do with calvin jones here Six foot six inch Calvin Jones just landed a good left hook there, made not the slightest bit of difference. Jones has been a pro for almost ten years. Ibi Bucci, I think he turned pro back in 1994. Nice little jab from Ibi Bucci, right cross as well. And uh, Jones no more than cannon fodder these days, as you can see. He won eight of his first ten fights. Calvin Jones didn't realise he could earn more money by losing. And I tracked the best win for Calvin Jones was a point win over ten rounds against James Broad back in 1993. Broad, of course, was uh, an old man by then. So, Ibiabuchi, known as the president, based in Dallas, in Texas. Trained by Curtis Coates, the former world welterweight champion. Good punches these by Ibiabuchi. jab there from Ibiabuchi and of course Nigeria has thrown up some pretty good fighters over the last three or four years so a good start then for Ibiabuchi and of course one of Nigeria's uh, fighters to reach world heavyweight champion status is that Henry Akawanda didn't he box well against Scott Welsh whatever happened to Scott Welsh I asked myself and uh, to hear Gary Mason trying to make excuses for Scott Welsh was uh, almost laughable. Sorry, Gary. 
So round two then of the scheduled ten round chief supporting contest. Ibibuchi in the black trunks against this six foot six Calvin Jones. shot from Ibiavucci, oh lovely left hook to the chin, beautiful shot there, Calvin Jones flat in his face, Undoubt undoubtedly Jones got hit with a body punch and it hurt, and he was distracted, and in walked Ibiavucci, whacked him on the chin with the left hook, here we go again, oh will we, <laughs> well the referee's saying it's a low shot, or oh, is <laughs> Jones saying it's a low shot, Jones doesn't want to fight no more. It's all over. I think. No, it's not. <laughs> well, well, well. Interesting. I think Jones said, I don't want to fight no more. And uh, the inspector or the doctor said, if you don't fight, you're not getting paid. So, fight he does. Oh, good shots there by Ibiabuchi. And uh, poor old Calvin Jones getting battered now. It might have been in his interest to sit out uh, the paycheck for once. Don't forget, you get paid win, lose or draw. And it's the same money. Oh, take that. That'll do. Jones has hurt his shoulder. That's why he couldn't throw a right hand. Well, he's up at about nine, and he's not very happy, is he? Stop it, Rev. No point letting me go on. Well, it would have been over by now if I'd have been the referee, I'm afraid. Don't like to see a man making the wrong kinds of noises. Ooh. Jones doesn't know what to do with himself. Where is the next punch coming from, he's thinking. Wherever it's coming from, it's going to land. Oh, look at this. And there's no absolute disgraceful refereeing there. Why on earth he allowed Calvin Jones, who clearly wanted no more part, to continue was absolutely beyond me. And, you know, I don't honestly know why Ibi Boots is making such a big deal about it. As I said before, Calvin Jones wasn't ranked in the top 300 in the world by the independent world boxing rankings, and that's a bad sign. Ibiabuchi, on the other hand, is ranked at 66, as I said. Just to give you some idea of who's around him, Mario Schieser, the former German champion, is up there with him. Axel Schultz is only a couple of places above, so is Gary Delaney as you watch the finish again. So, you know reasonable ladies and gentlemen we have the time of two minutes 39 seconds of round number two our referee in charge robert bird stops the contest he's the winner by way of knockout he is still undefeated ike the president ibiabucci yes as ibiabucci celebrates we're going to take another short break more to come stay with